Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use particles, uh, the, the command with command blocks and also commands in Minecraft Java 1.14.4. So without further ado, let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the particle command in many ways. We'll start off with basic, then we'll start talking about the specific things that you'll need. For example, uh, the uh, amount of particles you want, uh, the speed of the particle, uh, as well as the area and view distance. And then we'll just go into details and then at the end I'll show you how to execute particles to mobs and items and all of those types of things, so stay tuned. Let's get started with the basic command. I will be showing you in a separate command block, so um, yeah, I'll show you how to how it's done. So what you'll need to do is first you'll need to get a command block. Now a command block is given to you by typing in slash give, then your player name, and then Minecraft command block. By, get, by typing in this command, you'll automatically be given um, the command block from the console. Now I also recommend typing in game rule, and then do uh, command block output and set that false. What this will do is it will stop um, what it will do is it will stop saying uh, how the command has been executed in your chat. So it will stop saying uh, particle um, executed successfully and all of those things. So now that you've got your command block let's place it down and type in the first command. Now what you'll want to type in is you'll want to type in slash particle and then you'll want to type in Minecraft. And there'll be a whole bunch of uh, particles you can use. And they're all completely fine to use. Uh, some of them sometimes don't work. I think you have to go into a little more depth. Um, if you do like this video, um, I'll go into a little more depth a little later. Um, but I'll just show you um, the basics. So let's do Android. And so the, these numbers that you'll put in now are the coordinates. Now if you put in these like little squiggly lines, it will automatically say um, where the command block is. So say if I do, whoops, say if I go uh, squiggly line 3, it will place the particle 3 blocks above or 2 blocks above the command block because the command block is counted as one block. And then I'll do another squiggly line and then so these numbers here is how wide you want your um, command block, but we won't go with those yet. Okay, so now that we're done, the command should execute properly. And as you can see, it is giving us the end rod particle effect, which we have chosen. And it looks pretty nice, I say. And you can also change the speed of the redstone. You don't have to have it like this. And um, you can also have it on repeat as well and you can have it just constantly generating particles. Um, if you don't have a powerful computer, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But um, yeah, it does look cool if you have a certain thing with it. So let's copy and paste this. Command A and Command C. So now that we've got that over and done with, let's go into a little more depth and what these other components of this command means. So as you can see, after you press space after typing in the coordinates, it has a few numbers. Now it's completely fine. This is how far you want your particle to go. For example, if I put 0, 0, 0, and now you want to put in the speed, so how fast the particles will go. If you want a nice slow particle that doesn't move around fast and you can see it, I recommend putting a 0 0.1 in. And for count, it's how many particles every time uh, redstone is activated or how many times um, or basically every tick so for example if I had 10 every time this receive or this command block receives a redstone signal it will put out a particle um, now force and normal I was really confused with this before I started force means that um, no matter how far away you are or no matter how far away you are, you'll still be able to see the particle. Um, and when I mean when, uh, how, like however far away you are, 
um, the further you go away, the smaller the particles go. So that eventually they'll disappear, but um, it it forces you to see them. And normal, um, when it goes out of your render distance or your or out of your render distance, it completely shuts off and you cannot see your particle and the command will stop unless another player is around it. So let's do force. So now we've got a very nice particle here. It looks very nice, I have to say. Um, and it's running really, really well. So as you can see, if we do change these, so let's go, um, well first let's change this to zero because we want it to be very still. So as you can see, it's not moving uh, because we don't. it doesn't have a dedicated speed for it. But if we slowly change these numbers, so let's do 0 0.1. Have you noticed it spread out a little bit? And um, let's do another one. And then let's make it into a little ball. There we are. So we've got a really nice ball that we've made. And trust me, you can go back. You don't have to have this. You can change it to like any of these. Let's choose this one, enchant. So this is like the enchantment book, and you've got um, you've got a whole bunch. So let's do this one. I don't know what this does. Oh, okay. So let's just put that onto impulse so it doesn't lag this out, and let's do this as well. Okay. So we've done. We've talked about uh, the specific components of this command, uh, and here um, is a few examples. So you can have it wide. And this is the angry villager um, particle. And you can also have it long as well if you want to show um, where players are if you were using the execute command. Yeah, so basically with this one, let's just copy and paste this in. For these numbers, you'll have a zero and then you'll have like a five maybe. And then another zero and then let's do the speed. So I may, I think I might want it to be a zero. And then count, we'll do 10 to make it look like a thick line, and then we'll do force. Okay. So as you can see, that's the line we've just made. And you can, once again, you can change the um, type of particle you want. It doesn't have to be that. And uh, with this one, it's basically the same, um, except you've we kind of make it a little wider so it would be like a three height is maybe a one and then another three and so we'll just keep it impulse and we'll change it to angry villager whoops I forgot to add in the speed you have so if you add in uh, this number here or these numbers you have to make sure you're adding speed. So you can have zero, zero, or one for count, and then we'll have force. There we are. Uh, let's make the count 10, just to make it look like it's spreading out. Oh gosh, that is, that is spreading out quite far. <laughs> Whoops, um, let's just make, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll turn that off quickly, just because I don't like that going out. Okay, now let's get to these uh, particles which follow a mob. So, as you can see, these are mobs, and I'm making them stand here by constantly teleporting them uh, by a name tag I've given them, as you can see. Uh, I can go into depth with uh, teleportation um, in another video if you like. Um, just comment in the description below uh, what video you want me to do, and I will... I'll do that. <laughs> Um, so as you can see, this is a slime with a uh, particle slime on it um, because that's what I named it. And as you can see, it's going to constantly teleport it to this place. But as you notice, there is a particle above it and uh, it's constantly following it. So it, let's just uh, let's just let this slime walk off. So as you can see, this slime has a particle following it and it's all due to this command block here. So let's just turn this back on so he doesn't wander off. So this command block here executes a particle above the mob or an item because I haven't specifically called it anything yet. Um, and it works with 
it works with about anything. You can have it on enemies, because um, I used to do it, have like a little flame above enemies and then like a little line above a animal and then a few particles around players just so you know where they are in the world. But let me show you how to do this. So what you want to do is you want to go slash execute is you want to go slash execute at and then you'll go at e and type in brackets uh, exclamation oh, type oh yeah type equals exclamation mark player now what this does is it stops the particles from going above players. Now you can go more specific, you can say name and then have a player name or anything like this. Um, and you can even have more by adding a comma and then going, um, adding a whole bunch of other properties that it has to scan. But um, let's just do this for now. And then what you'll do is you type in run and you go particle. So now you're telling it to run the command And then uh, let's just choose um, this one, uh, Totem of Undying. I like that one. Do the squiggly lines. And I think, oops, I think we may want to make the particle go a little higher than the mob so that we can see it in the distance. So let's do three. And then another squiggly line, and that closes the um, axis or the coordinates. And then you'll do the normal uh, area, so let's do 0, 1, 0, uh, speed 0, and count 1, and we'll do force. And I have that on impulse. So now we've got, we currently have the Totem of Undying um, above or executed on these animals and items. So yeah, that's basically a short summary of how to use particles uh, in Minecraft. And um, as you can see, you can do uh, particle. You can oops. You can do the slash particle command here if you want. Um, you can execute from here. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of things through the t um, terminal. You can basically do all of these commands I showed you in the terminal below or here. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe to this channel for some uh, other videos I may put up. And also please comment what you would like me to do next. I am, I'm looking through them and I haven't seen any ideas yet, but um, because of my other video, which is how to make a mob follow you with one simple command, I've started to do Minecraft, Minecraft uh, command block tutorials and I'm terribly sorry for the audio. I've noticed it. I just don't know how to fix it and I'm guaranteed that this video you should be able to hear me because I've got a very good mic in front of me and I'm just going to make sure I listen through it and make sure that it's very clear and very well to understand but yeah please like subscribe and comment what you would like and also follow my social links in the description below if you want to see more thank you